Welcome back to another one of my exciting videos. Hello everyone. Today I am going to bake a upside down pineapple cherry cake. These are the ingredients you're going to need. Brown sugar. I am using classic yellow cake mix. Try to make it easier on some. I'm using French vanilla pudding. I have three uh, large eggs. I have one third cup of oil, one third cup of milk. I have a stick of butter. And right here I have I have a can of pineapples. You want to get the whole pineapples? Let me drain them. You know what? I'm not. Give me a second. I'm going to drain them because you want to. Um, slice them in half and this is a 20 ounce can of pineapples so let's set that there I'm going to get my knife so what we're gonna do oh look at me holding this knife all wrong I'm going to lay these out on my cutting board. I'm going to just split them in half. This is one of the cakes that I love to to bake with my grandkids because they have so much fun. Uh oh, got one trying to break up on me. All right, set that over there. What's that? Uh-oh. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to do some of your your last steps first. So this is not my last step, but it's one of those steps that comes later down the line. This done. All right, we got our pineapples ready. So we're gonna just set this over here to the side. And our juice. We'll set this over to the side. Well, not really. Okay. Now, have our bowl. Let's see what she's doing. Now we're going to go ahead and put our cake mix together. And actually, you know, I've done box cake before. And I tell you, you know, you follow the directions on the box. Well, this time we're going to follow directions to the box, except <clears throat> except the water part. 
Okay, we got our three eggs, three large eggs. We got our one third cup of oil. One cup, one third cup of milk. Now, <clears throat> you can use, you could use a whisk, or you could use their, um, small mixer. I decided to use the small mixer. And then last but not least, this butter is gonna go in here. We're gonna put in our pudding, French vanilla. Like I said, in place of the water, we're using using milk, and we're using the juice we drained off the pineapple. Look at that. That's so pretty. <laughs> okay. to mix them. I'm going to start off on a, on a low and get it mixed up there. Okay, I'm going to mix this very good, get my lumps out, and I'll be back. All right. I completed the cake mix. Now, taking my butt pan, first thing I want to do, and I do apologize, I've mentioned I'm making a, a pineapple cherry upside down cake. Now. I did not have my cherries out in the beginning, and I apologize, but they go my cherries. They're still draining, and I didn't have my pan out. You want to spray the pan heavily. You want to make sure you get it real good all around. All right. <coughs> then we're gonna use here go our hmm, our uh, our butter, melted butter. Just trying to cool off. Okay, you're gonna just. down in here. Now, what we're going to do is put a pineapple right here and put a cherry. Put 
pineapple, and cherry. I'm going to do this and I'll be right back. All right. You can see, I love cherries too. I put two cherries. It's up to you. I put two cherries. So one of them, I had my cherries. Anyway, I, I stood them up and I put the cherries inside. Now, it is time to put our cake mix in. It's pretty good and mixed. Pretty thick, too. And again, this is just one box. Get all the goodies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to kind of shuffle. Try to even it out. Again, whether it's homemade or boxed. Can you taste it? Okay. It's good. Get that little bit off of there. Now. Make sure I know there is no hidden bubbles. All right, now I had preheated my oven to 350, and I'm going to bake this anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in. Turn this in the oven. Oh, they keep. You know what? I need to move that rack down one. Hmm. All right, now. We're going to put our timer. So let's just say, I'm going to say 40, but we're going to check it in 35. So, when, that's done, when in 40 minutes, I'll be back. It is so perfect. Okay. It's been... Okay, it's been actually 40 minutes. Let's see. Bring it over here. And let's do a test first. Hmm. No, no, no. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. See, those pineapples and those cherries are in there. So, that's the part that's kind of got me a little rattled, but I think we're going to put this back in. See, it's showing all the indications that it is done around the edges. But this in here in the middle, I think I'm going to put it back in maybe five more minutes. Again, it does call for 35 to 45, and it was 40, and I took it out. So we're going to put it back in. I hate to break that temperature down like I just did. We're going to put it back in there for about five more minutes. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, and it's been five minutes. Now we're going to, I know it's ready. Oh yeah, she's ready. He's ready. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Now, we're going to get our plate. You know what? I'm going to flip it over on there. I'm trying to think. Okay. Let's get our plate. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and check to see if, uh, uh oh, I'm gonna get, no, I'm gonna get a butter knife. All right, it seems to be Seems to be juicy. Again, when I was checking it the first time, and um, a little came off on my tester, you have to remember, you have cherries, cherries and pineapple in this cake. So, let's Let's, let's see what it do. All right. This is the fun part. Not, not. All right. Okay. All right, let's see. Ta-da! Oh, wow. That's pretty. <laughs> it didn't... It didn't quite look the way I intended it to. That's okay, too. Uh-oh. So, and again, I want to... I do want to add, I did leave out an ingredient, and it could be very well why it looks the way it does. I, and I put extra. I left out the brown sugar in the bottom of the pan, which was somewhat candy and would have given this a hard cup. So, we're going to, you know what? Hey, we in this together. Let me move it over a little. Uh-oh. We're going to do this again. And we're going to make sure we don't leave out the brown sugar. 
and see what kind of, like I said, I like to also make what if videos. What if you don't use that? What if you do use this? So, now we know how it turned out to look. And again, it's still pretty. And we're going to taste it. So, again, uh, we got to let this cool off. I'm going to let it cool down before I cut it. And I'll be back. Okay. Like I said again, what if you do this? Or what if you do it another way? We're going to get the other way done probably tomorrow sometime. Okay, that's, it's time to do a taste test. We're going to... I don't know. I like cherries. I do. You know what? Bad idea. Let's get the proper... Utensil. Okay, now where was it? <laughs> right here. Now, I'm going to probably make some icing. Look at that. That's so pretty. Let me cut another piece. Let's see. So you can see right here. Look at that. Looks gorgeous. Now, taste test. A piece of pineapple. A piece of cake. And a piece of cherry. Red cherry. Well, huh? I don't know. Hmm. Mm hmm. This is delicious. Actually, I'm not going to put no frosting on here because it is literally sweet enough with the cherries and the pineapple. Mm, this is good. This is real good. But I am going to, uh, mm, that's good. I am going to redo this cake. Upside down pineapple cherry cake. And this time I will be using my um, brown sugar. Because I do, the brown sugar help candy the cherries. And see... It's not like it's, you know, too moist, over moist. It's beautiful. So, again, mm. should be enough for me. Mm. If you like this video, please, with all due, if you can like, share, Hit the bell to let you know when I come up with a new video and subscribe. I need all the support I can get. I do believe this is one of my callings and I want to continue to cook. So again, be blessed. 
be a, keep awareness of where you are at all times. Whether it's just one, two, or a group of you guys, please be careful. Peace and love.